Hey guys, welcome back. So this is just my foundation routine. It's highly requested and I thought I'd show you guys today. I was gonna wait till I got my eyebrows done, but um, I just didn't want to wait that long and I wanted to just hurry up and get this video out there because a lot of you guys have been requesting it. So here it is. Um, I hope you guys can see it really well in the video. And um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching and you guys will see me soon. Bye. Okay, so I know I'm looking in an absolute hot mess, but it's okay. Um, you guys have, have seen me without makeup before. Anyway, so the first thing I'm going to go ahead and get started with. I already applied my primer and my moisturizer. So I'm using the, um, that's why my face has like a white cast to it. Because I used sunscreen and this is for your face particularly. It's called Clear Zinc Oxide. Face 45 and I got this from Walmart. Um, and then, oh 45 is the SPF. And then I'm using also my Monistat face primer and I already primed my face right when I got out the shower so I let that soak in for a while because this can feel a little bit greasy but after it sinks in then it makes your skin really soft. So the first thing I'm going to use is my <coughs> Maybelline Superstay foundation and my color is caramel. I don't know if you can see that or not but I'm going to go ahead and apply that to my whole entire face. And I'm not going to be heavy handed with it because I am going to apply quite a few products. So I'm going to just use it very, very lightly. And um, I'm going to be using my stippling brush by Sonia Kashuk. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my hand. To the back of my hand. So about that much. I may use a little bit more than that, but let's just see how it goes. So I'm going to just go ahead and stipple it on my face and along my neck and when you stipple you kind of just want to press and sweep so like press oh my gosh press and sweep get the most coverage using a stippling brush you want to um, stipple it in first so by pressing it in and I know I have massive under eye dark circles because it's hard for me to go to sleep at night so I'm up like in the wee hours of the night just uh, either watching TV or on YouTube or something like that I'm trying to learn something new so I like to do half my face first and then I like to do my forehead last because my forehead doesn't need much coverage. And you can already see a big difference from this side of my face to that side of my face. So I'm going to go ahead and work with the next side. I have a lot of acne scarring over here. Work it up in the hairline. And with my foundation, I use, I put my hands very close to the brush because I want it to really apply good coverage. So I'm going to need a little bit more on this side, so I'm going to go ahead and pick up some more of my foundation. And this is the lighter foundation that I'm using. Well, pretty much my complexion. I hate when that happens. So just stipple it on and then kind of sweep, but not too much, just like very lightly.
Okay, so now we are pretty much even. Yeah. Okay, so now that I have on my full face color, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead, and I still had leftover on my hand as well, so I'm gonna just wipe that off on my towel I have down here. Okay, so now I'm going to, oh, I need to use a different brush, hold on. Been applied. I'm gonna go ahead and use my darker foundation um, on the outer rims of my face and to contour my face. Um, and I'm using my L'Oreal True Match foundation in cocoa. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this as my contour. And the brush I'm using is um, the Essence of Beauty blending brush, but they changed their packaging now, so their brushes are no longer tan and black. They're um, all black, I believe. Okay, so I just take that much and then dab a little bit on my hand, so I won't be distributing it too much around. So I'm going to just start at my cheekbone. See that? So I'm going to start at my cheekbone and my hairline, work it down. I like to trace my, my face first. Go around my hairline and then I'm going to just go ahead and blend that in. Along the sides of my forehead, I just did the three type of thing. And then along my jawline, down the sides of my neck. And for those with double chins like me, hit underneath your chin as well. Okay, now on to the next side. Any harsh lines, our powder is just going to go ahead and take care of that in the long run. So, go ahead and I know I should probably clip this hair back because I hate when I see people trying to struggle and keep their hair away from their face when they can just easily pin it back. But uh, I don't feel like getting up anymore. <laughs> so now I'm going to just. You see that? It's really, really blunt. You can really see a difference. Okay, now I'm going to just go ahead and blend that in. Okay, so you guys can, can you guys see that? Like, it's more contoured and my face, it looks more natural. Teddy, no. Teddy, look at me. No. Okay, and so what is ever left on the brush I'm going to just go ahead and go down the sides of my nose. Okay, so now we have our foundation on. I'm going to go ahead and do my under eye concealer. Because it's about that time. <laughs> I know you guys are tired of looking at my raccoon eyes. And I'm just taking my NYX concealer in the color tan. And I absolutely love this concealer. I like it more than the MAC Studio Fix concealer as well. So, and this is like more than half the cost. This is only $3.99. So I'm going to go ahead and just look up and then pat my concealer in. I didn't use my primer today because I forgot until now. <laughs> but it's okay because my concealer is not going to even crease when I do it. So when you do your concealer, you want to look up. So um, 
You can avoid any creasage that may happen and automatically you can see that my under eye is automatically concealed now. And then whatever whatever's left I just rub it on my eyelid preparing it for my eyeshadow in a minute. So now that under eye is concealed I like to quickly grab a sponge and then my NYC um, naturally beige uh, face powder and then I'm almost out I need to get another one and then I like to just go like this with the thicker side dab it in there and then I'm gonna just look up okay so gonna repat that in look up and then just press that in So you're going to just continue to press that in. And boom, we're good to go for the rest of the day for that under eye concealer. And then I just like to highlight a little bit more on the top of the cheekbone. So you guys can already see how big of a difference that made. Now onto the other eye. Use that concealer. And this concealer, you don't even need much to conceal. If you want, you can go ahead and do the infamous Candy Johnson trick and go down this like in a triangle shape but I'm not gonna go ahead and do that today because I don't want my makeup really dramatic I'm not really going anywhere so I just want it nice and soft so I'm gonna just do it very very simple and subtle so while you look away like when you're um, you want to work fast and do your concealer be set your concealer because if you don't you're gonna start getting creases like ASAP. So you want to work fast when you do your concealer. Okay. Ta da! So now that my concealer is on and popping, I'm going to go ahead and go down the bridge of my nose to just elongate it a little bit because I have a little button nose. And my husband thinks it's cute, but I think it's stubby. So I'm going to go down the bridge of my nose and in between my eyebrows. Okay. And then usually I will go over the spots that need more coverage, um, like more acne blemishes spots, but today I'm not going to do that because um, I feel like when you put like concealer on a pimple or something to cover it I feel like it makes it worse because you're applying more product to an already infected area so I feel like it's gonna it makes it worse so in my case I'm not gonna use um, concealer on my spots so now to set my foundation I'm gonna go ahead and use the puff out of my HD um, my elf HD uh, powder this puff comes in there and I love using puffs to apply my uh, pressed powder because it sinks it in better and it makes it have more of a it makes your foundation last longer so now I applied that product there's still a little white residue from the um, HD powder I'm gonna just go ahead and press it in my skin so just press it like that and to get more coverage you want to press it in as well On to the other side. So I'm just taking my Make It Forever powder Duo Matte in 214 and I'm just applying that to my face. But I'm just rubbing it on my sponge like that. My sponge, my puff. And then I'm going to just go ahead and press that in.
And then I'm gonna just go down my neck as well so they can match. Okay, so that's now that's been applied. We're almost done. Okay, so that's basically it. Now I'm gonna just go ahead and contour with my um well actually before I do that, I'm gonna just brighten up my under eye a little bit more. So I'm gonna take my um elf high def powder and I'm gonna just take use the same sponge that I used to set my concealer with. And I'm gonna just go ahead and put a little bit in that top and that's what it looks like dab it and then I'm gonna go ahead and just highlight so I'm gonna just go a little bit over my cheekbone area and then down my down the sides of my nose so You see that? It just gave me an automatic little lift. So now I'm going to just do that on the other side. And I was going to wait to do my foundation routine until I get my eyebrows done because underneath this concealer, y'all, my eyebrows are so bushy. I haven't got them tweezed or anything, waxed or anything in about probably two months, three months. So it's about that time. <laughs> Obviously, I'm going to go down the bridge of my nose to highlight. Okay. So now I'm going to just go ahead and take my e.l.f. brush and just, you know, make, blend those colors together so I won't be looking powdery and ashy. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and contour with my, with my CoverGirl Queen Collection. And I'm going to go ahead and take the corner of my um, e.l.f. powder brush. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply this. I don't want it too dramatic today, so that's why I'm using this. I just want it nice, subtle, and natural looking. If you want to make the fishy face, then you can go ahead. But yeah. Okay, so now I'm all nicely contoured. Um, I'm gonna just take a little bit, just a little bit of um of this CoverGirl Queen Collection in Ebony Bronze. I'm going to just go ahead and take a little bit of this and just use this as the base, like the top part of my cheekbone. So like right up there, I'm going to just use it like right up there. To just give me that extra high cheekbone look. Okay, so now I'm going to just go ahead and blend that in. Okay, you see that? Okay guys, well, that just, con that is it on how I apply my foundation. That is my recent foundation routine. And... So that is it. That's all I do to apply my foundation late, lately. Um, I hope you guys liked it, and I hope you guys can tell a difference. I don't know how the lighting is looking in this um, in my living room right now because it's pretty early in the day. Usually when I film, it's probably like around 
0767. So um, on that note, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know what you guys think about it, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.